Alrighty then, apparently I uh, started to stream, so let me just check that quickly, let me see if I am focusing or not. Now, I know, you are surprised, you are surprised that I am streaming right now, but hey, I will wait a moment or two before everybody hops in or before some of you guys hop in because... Uh, let me just see here. New alt gate function. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, all you guys in the live stream? So, what I want to do on this live stream is basically, you know, chat a, a little bit with you guys. It's not gonna be like Q and A. I mean, we can do Q and A, but I want to get your ideas in because this is your channel as well. What I what I want to ask you is the following. So, uh, I've been posting in the last like last month. I've been posting videos every single day, and I don't want to do that. Like in terms of posting videos, like part one, part two, I don't want to do that. I want to put everything in a single video, and then I will post that as a single video, just like I posted the tutorial yesterday, which was about character movement in Unreal Engine, and I have a upcoming game in Unreal Engine also that will post on the YouTube channel as well. It's about an hour and a half. But what I want to do is like every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I will be posting tutorials. So we have gaps like in Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So in Sunday we can do our regular Q&A, but what do you think about these other days? What can we do? Like, do you want more live streams? Do you want... Uh, what I can do is I can use, I can do some like devlogs. I can, I can do some cool devlogs. Uh, of the games that I'm currently creating like for, for for the Academy because for example now I'm going to start creating a game a gladiator game really cool one which is really awesome using C++ I can do devlogs and talk about that and yeah so I want to hear your ideas what you would love to see like in on on Tuesday Thursday and Saturday because the, they are the gap days so yeah, we can do tutorials as well, but weekly devlogs, well, basically I have three days. I can live stream every single day. It will not be a long live stream. It will be like a 20 minute, 30 minute, one hour maximum. I can also talk about some things that uh, I can also talk about or add so things in Unreal Unity. Yeah, yeah, exactly that, Majhul. Uh, exactly that like I can talk about some things go in depth in terms of unity unreal maybe the differences between them maybe talk about some trending things maybe some games or so on and so forth so that can be also that can be also cool tutorials or devlog give you did it on like a document description yeah yeah something like that so what uh, Gabriel it's not about soccer game or what or whatever it's it's about listen to me I'm asking for for your opinions your feedback what do you want to talk about we can do just live streams where we chat you can ask me things and I can answer as well yes Majhul and at the Kalam Arabi a 3d first person puzzle game some tricks in game development to some time so yeah, just just give your suggestions and for those of you guys who will watch this live stream later on when it's on the channel, you can you can uh, uh, you can put your suggestions, you can put your suggestions in in uh, the comment section below. Using C++ in Unity. I don't think you can use C++ in Unity except with a plugin. So one tutorial per week, we could practice that the remaining days. Uh, well, I plan to publish tutorials like this. Like, for example, on Monday, I will publish... Every week, I will publish tutorials in Blender, uh, Unity, and Unreal. So, that will be my schedule for now. And I will publish them, like, in terms of... Uh, I will publish them in, in terms of, uh, for example, on Monday, I will publish Unreal, then on Wednesday, I will publish Blender, then on uh, Friday, I will publish about, I will publish Unity. But what we can do as well is something like this. Let me just open this project and show you quickly. So let me just also lower the volume so that we don't get killed by the noise and so on and so forth.
Yes, it is auto payment. It's it's monthly. This is for uh, Yeong. Uh, I'm doing a ten dollar promotion. You can cancel your thirty dollars and just click the link below and get your ten dollar promotion. And it's monthly because it says on the page monthly, and I have that on the page and on the sales page and so on and so forth. Arun Jaint, no man, this is what I actually want to do. I want to create full games in one tutorial because I think that is a better format than creating than creating uh, games in in a couple of tutorials. But for example, we can do something like this. Let me show you this, okay? Let me just go over here and quickly show you this because this is going to be one of the games that I want to build for my academy. And uh, what we can do is I can go here and I can show you and talk about the game. So as you can see, it's a really cool one. And this will be available in my academy, hopefully in two weeks from today. And you see, we can talk about this. So we can, you know, I can, I, I'm going to build this game from scratch. You know, start, you know, like uh, part by part for, for the academy. And as you can see, now it's raining. So let me just try to attack these bad boys. So yeah, we can talk about the game that I'm creating, you know, I can get some, we can do some kind of a devlog. For example, this is just an example, I'm just showing you, it can be, it will be other games and so on and so forth. So yeah, this is just, just, uh, when will be course about GTA 5? Probably, probably after, uh, I plan to create this game that you just saw, the Gladiator one, this will be my academy. Maybe after that one I will create another game when it comes to Unreal Engine and then I will do GTA in Unity. If I don't do that, then I will do GTA right after this Gladiator game because I want to create it in C++ because there are very few C++ tutorials available online in Unreal Engine, so I want to cover that. So yeah, just put your just put your how much long does the, how much long those tutorials will be? Well, this one the the one that I just showed you, this tutorial is going to be uh, that tutorial is gonna be in for my academy. Maybe I will post like this tutorial will probably be about five or six hours. Maybe I will post two or three hours from that tutorial on YouTube where you will also learn a lot of things. So yeah, there you go. That's how much it will be. But yeah. Anyways, what do you think about having like these live streams uh, every day? Like, I'm not every day, but uh, Tuesday and Thursday and uh, and uh, Saturday as well, and Sunday. On Sunday we will do live Q and A, but I can mix things up. You know, I can talk about I can talk about game engines. I can go in more depth with some things when it comes to when it comes to. Uh, when it comes to you know learning how to make games and stuff like that, I can talk about things that 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 are the most common that are the most common problems that developers have, beginner ones, and so on and so forth. But yeah, anyways, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. C plus plus is running behind most of the programming language. Uh, how can I stop auto pay? Only thirty days, dude. Please message me. Uh, Please message me, uh, Young man. I I cannot. Let me just go tag you over here. Hey Young, yeah, there you go. Uh, send me an email on support at awesometudes.com. I believe I answered your email. Yeah, Young. Sorry, man, I butchered your name. I answered your say Young. Young, I believe that I said it. You can talk about Unreal or Unity for Beginners. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. That's also one of the ideas that I want, you know? And it will not be long. This is for you, Mitchell, your, your question. Anyways, Eong, uh, I believe I answered your email already, but send me an email. Please send me an email. Anyways, uh, as I said, uh, for you, Mitchell, uh, uh, it will be like a 20, 30 minutes live streams or something like that. 40 minutes up to an hour most where I talk about but all useful things like you know, so yeah I would love a devlog series where we will tell what you're doing and for real learners give your code in the description Well, I will do something like that But I will not probably not give the code in the description for example the gladiator game that you just saw if you saw it If not, you can rewind this live stream like uh, five minutes and you will see a gladiator game that I plan to create I will, I will, uh, Yeong, just message me, man. We will cancel your subscription right away. Just message me. Uh, anyways, uh, as I said, as I said, uh, I, I can do these, uh, I can do these, uh, 
live streams with uh, with devlogs and I can explain what I did today where I had struggles because every time every time I create something I have struggles I have issues uh, I make mistakes I learn new things I can talk about that which is really cool that is really really cool uh, racing game in unity I don't plan to do that very soon if you mean a 3d or something like that uh, Crane Minecraft game, yes, I plan to do that. So, what are your thoughts about Blender 2.8 for game developers? I have Blender 2.8 in my academy, which is really cool. So yeah, Blender 2.8 is awesome. It's awesome. Uh, thanks, Justin Benjamin. Thanks for sharing your expertise. Thanks, Justin. I really appreciate. So yeah, what do you think about that, guys? You just put some, put some. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Share your ideas. You know, this is this live stream is about you. Share your ideas. What you think? What you would love to see? These devlogs are not a bad idea. These devlogs are not a bad idea because, because as I said, I make a lot of mistakes while creating things. I learn new things, and I can talk about those things. You know, what I learned, where I made a mistake. I can show you, like I can run the game and show you the effect, and so on and so forth. So yeah. I'm probably not gonna read that as zechs or whatever because probably that's cursing on your language or whatever. I'm not that stupid, man. So yeah. So yeah, just give just give your just give your suggestions, man. Give your suggestions. I want to hear from you guys. You know. Uh yeah, see ya, man. Uh see ya. I don't know, it's probably something that you will make fun of me or something like that. So maybe it's not, maybe it's not, uh, maybe it's not cursing, but it can be that you are making fun of me. So yeah, why aren't you making mobile games? Cause it's a huge market, even simple game are doing well. Are you worried about the competition? Making mobile games is not your thing. Uh, financial feed, uh, I, I prefer to teach people how to make games because don't get me wrong I love building games but I find more satisfaction in seeing for example you learn from me and then you create a game that becomes a huge hit that would make me you know it will make me feel a lot you know it will make me feel really cool more than if I was the one who created that game and that game went viral or whatnot oh uh, So yeah, just give me one. Of, just give me some of your. Just give me some of your. Uh, just give me some of your suggestions. You guys are just joking in the in the chat, or I need to cut out the jokers, and actually just to be able to see what are the serious people telling me. So yeah, probably will do. Probably will continue to do. Uh, probably continue to do the devlog series, which is gonna be great. No, Mitra, I don't plan to do web dev with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because this is a game development channel and I plan to do game development. I really want to see a course how to make a Silent Hill game. Which engine is better for beginners? You know, I mean, it's not about... I will answer all those questions in a live stream that will come. So we will have a live stream for Q&A. But so far, the, you know, I just want to get suggestions from you guys. Anyways, what for... For those of you guys who will watch this live stream later, just put just put your suggestions in the comments below. So I have an idea approximately what I will do, which is it will be devlogs, it will be talking about, you know, talking about differences between Unity and Unreal Engine, the pros and the cons. I will probably put the other engines there as well and so on and so forth. But yeah, that's that's the idea. Yeah, so thank you for those of you guys who pledged their who pledged their uh, ideas who who participated in. So I'm gonna cut off this live stream because it was just you know it was just about this. It was just about getting ideas from you guys. And again, all suggestions put them in the so link will be in the description below. Oh, link will be in the description below. Put your ideas in the comments below, and I will look I will look at your suggestions and we will. We will think about something together. What what we what I will do on these live streams. So yeah. So.
So yeah, it's basically it's just that. So I will probably the first live stream, the first live stream that will be about the devlog will probably be on Thursday because tomorrow I will tomorrow I will publish a tutorial. I think it will be Unity or it will be Blender. We will see one of the two. So yeah. Anyways, the good news is I will continue with creating full games in one huge one huge tutorial, you know, like an hour or two hours or three hours instead of putting all that in parts like part one, part two and so on and so forth. Uh, I am 28 for the guy asking how old I am. So anyways, thank you for, for joining this live stream. It was not, like a not, not a planned live stream. So I will probably do four live streams a week and three tutorials every, every week. Yeah, I'm the coder. I will, I will, uh, you send me an email. I will check it out right now. So anyways, thank you guys for all of you who, who joined and I will see you on the first of the new live streams on Thursday. Until then, thank you. And I will see you tomorrow in a tutorial. Where else can I see you? Stay out of jail, man.